Hey guys, here's going to be the last collection update for January or February. Um, I was debating on waiting a day or two to make this because I have a couple things coming, but I figured I'd just make this and it's out there. The things that are coming in are things you've already seen, so I figured I'd just make, make it now. So, I'll, I guess I'll make it a full update. I've changed a lot of the display around today so it's another reason why i thought i'd show you guys but we'll just jump right into it so down here is my 4100 tower pretty much just sits over here kind of off to the side of the display because i just really don't have room to put it over here but over here i decided i'd put kind of my custom my customs down here which is a the lower shelf and if you haven't already, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably haven't seen this, but I weathered my 336DL with the custom thumb that was built by 320DLRR. I think it turned out pretty nice. If you want, I could kind of make a little video showcasing it if you guys want. Here's my weathered 430 with a quick coupler. I'm going to have the hammer just kind of like it's breaking some rock. And as always, my 320. So I changed these two around, the 1000, I just made it facing the other way and changed the 870's pose. I think this, I like this shelf now, just kind of how the excavator is on it, but let me know what you guys think. The 540, 5500 with a uh, short boom, Tachi Sumitomo 1500, and the 4100L. Um... Move the center bulb over here just to make have some more room in my yard, which I'll show you probably at the end. But I think it looks pretty nice. They don't they don't really stick up far enough to block this sh that shelf, which I like. But they are pretty they are fairly nice down there. And here's my one of the stickers I had um, Vinny over at Heavy Truck Photos send me. It looks very nice. Here. The Terex TL260, the Topcon, uh, Bobcat E35, the Kempman 336E, WB146, S750 with a custom box plow, and I also drilled the rivets out on this too so I could change the attachments on it. Custom T770 with a brush hog, 850K. I've been thinking about weathering this also, but I'm just not sure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here's a newer one. It's the Caterpillar 972K in white. If you haven't already, go check out the review. It was put up a couple days ago. And the 205. Here is the little Chevy work van, Ford F-350 and Menards, the Potain Igo with the concrete bucket, here's another, I'm, I'll call it a new one, um, I, I did have this model in, in white, but I'm, I want my trucks to all be a red, so this one came up and we made a trade for it, I really like the red actually, it's a lot nicer than I was expecting. The uh, CT660 is up here. It's got a tag trailer and the trench box. Here's uh, my T880. It's also got a tag trailer and it's got the drill casing. I have another red one coming. I traded my white T880 for another red one. So that's one of the things coming. Here's my LB28. I think it looks kind of nice up here just really because I don't have another spot to put it. And it kind of just filled the space here because there would be another truck sitting here to kind of make replicate both sides. But I'm waiting on that. That's also another red Kenworth T880 triaxle. I traded my white one for it. The 909, that's for sale. The Matt Granite, the low boy. 631E and the... Uh, 38 I believe it is 
Up there is the Oshkosh P series, Oshkosh H series, which I'll have review up within a few days. My four S series front discharges, the two freight liners, some a broom and some stuff back there. Down here, here's another work van, another F350 with the 349 bucket on it. I'm I'm wanting to make a service body for this, but I'm just I have to find a um service body first, but CCM 349, 966, and on the tag trailer is the D51. Up here is the RTC 8080. I put the fly jib on it mainly because when it's on the side, it won't stay on on mine because the pin down here, it, it's not lined up, so it won't hook, but it does look pretty nice on actually on the crane. Oh, uh, there's just some parts back there, some skid steer attachments, some stakes. That's off with the T80. And last but not least is the RT-130. Fully extended. And it's got some custom rigging on it. So, that's pretty much it. Um, again, as I mentioned already, uh, I do have a couple things coming in the Kenworth as I mentioned and also um I I can't I'm not sure how to pronounce his name but it's a a custom tag trailer from I believe it's East L 164 scale on Instagram sorry if I said the name wrong but I believe that's how it is um, I'm not sure when it'll be done. It's not a rush. I just kind of placed the order today or a couple days ago. So I'm looking forward to that and, and maybe some, um, hopefully getting a case CX 800 demolition excavator and a man lift in the near future. So, um, I'm looking forward to that also, but Again, let me let me let me know if you what I should do to the 850 if I should weather it or just leave it. I think it would look kind of cool weathered, and I have seen a lot of them that have been weathered. So I don't know. They look pretty nice, and otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments or want to see a review of anything just let me know in the comments and also if you want to see any of the custom stuff I've done like the 336 or anything just let me know and will be a couple equipment videos coming up not sure when hopefully within the next week but we'll see um and if you haven't already go follow me on Instagram that's kind of what I've been on most of the time now, which I've, I don't know. I've, I guess I've been doing, I haven't had enough stuff to make like videos of, so I've just kind of been posting on that. But go check me out on that and follow me on that for some, some more pictures and whatnot. So that's pretty much it, guys. So take care and have a good one.